Continuing with our videos on class 12 NCRT mathematics and NBAC mathematics matrices chapter 3 exercise 3.2 today we will be discussing about some operations on matrices not all but just some operations on matrices the first operation will be about addition of matrices so in the last two videos we have already done what is a matrix and its different types now let's see one by one the basic operations of matrices first one addition of matrices if a and b are two comparable matrices kindly note this comparable comparable means they should be of same order then each of order m by n then their sum a plus b or even the difference a minus b is a matrix which will also be in the same order m by n obtained by adding or subtracting the corresponding elements of a and b that's why it is only possible for comparable matrices likewise in this first example that is you can see that these two matrices are comparable because both are of the order 2 by 2 so we can add so when we add our resultant matrix will also be of an order 2 by 2 as it is mentioned in the definition here so now how do we add very simple that is you add the corresponding elements first row first column with the first row first column 1 and 2 I will write here 1 plus 2 next respectively again the next respective columns 1 plus 2 again 0 plus 3 and again 4 plus 4 so our resultant matrix will be 2 plus 1 3 3 3 4 plus 4 8 of the order 2 by 2 so 2 plus 1 3 1 plus 2 3 0 plus 3 3 4 plus 4 8 so it's as simple as that now in the second example we can clearly see that the matrix A is of order 2 by 2, yes, matrix B is of order, we have here 2 rows, 1, 2, 3, 3 columns, so this will be of order 2 rows, 3 columns. Now we can see that they are not of the same order, isn't it? So in that case, A plus B, what we will say is, it cannot be defined, that means we cannot add, so we can add only comparable matrices only. Next up negative of a matrix now it's a very simple concept again what do you mean by negative of a matrix so if a matrix a is given to us then negative of a matrix will simply be the matrix obtained by where all the elements are also being multiplied with that negative value so minus a will also represent minus a into minus of aij for example like if a matrix it's much better with examples if a matrix a is given then minus a will simply be all the corresponding elements being multiplied by negative value minus 0 minus of minus 5 minus 7 minus root over of 2 so our ultimate matrix minus 3 minus minus plus 2 0 minus minus plus 5 minus 7 minus root 2 so it's all about that every corresponding element should also be multiplied by this negative value each and every corresponding element so minus 3 plus 2 0 plus 5 7 minus 7 minus root 2 next we have scalar multiplication that is almost similar to the previous concept that we have here if a be a given matrix and k is like any number constant then the matrix obtained by multiplying each element of a by the scalar is called the scalar multiple of a by k to be denoted by k into a so same concept like the previous topic that if a matrix is given then when you multi when if you want to multiply the matrix a by the scalar 3 then it will be 3 into 5 4 2 6 1 7 so every element will be multiplied by 3 so 3 5 is 15 3 4 is 12 3 2s are 6 continuing 3 6 are 18 3 1s are 3 3 7s are 21 so this will be our required matrix so based on this few topic today let us just try to solve some questions from exercise 3.2 like question number 2 it states compute the following that is like let's say number two the matrix is given a square plus b square b square plus c square a square plus c square a square plus b square plus twice of a b twice of 
BC minus twice of AC minus twice of AB. So we can we can see that both this matrix of are of the order two by two. So they are conformable. I mean they can be added because they are comparable. So let's add the respective elements. This with this A square plus B square plus two AB. Next b square plus c square plus 2 bc next a square plus c square minus 2 ac next up a square plus b square minus twice ab so that is this is the completion of algebraic identity so a plus b whole square this is b plus c whole square this is a minus c whole square this is a minus b whole square so this is simply addition of matrices like again question number number four we again have cos square x sine square x sine square x cos square x and sine square x cos square x cos square x sine square x so if we just quickly both are of the order two by two two by two no problem with that so let's quickly add cos square x plus sine square x again corresponding elements sine square x plus cos square x again sine square x plus cos square x last corresponding element cos square x plus sine square x so that's one 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 because we know that sine square theta plus cos square theta is nothing but one so this is one this is one this is one this is one so that's how we'll be adding matrices so in the next video if you have all liked this video i will do some questions on the exercise 3.2 please do share your comments share your views on this video from the team of teach nagaland signing off thank you